Hi my friends, today we model this part with uh, some interesting features with the name flat stand. This is the drawing. We start by creating a circle of 200. This part is uh, the part number 38 from my collection of 100 uh, mechanical parts. I would like you to know that you can download over 450 technical drawings including those associated with this 100 mechanical parts. For that you need to watch tutorial number 001 from this uh, FreeCAD tutorials. New empty document. Take a look of this uh, workbench and select CAD not Bender because we create uh, mechanical parts. New sketch this plane XY then a circle with this center and 200 millimeters. Close and extrude or pad on 11 millimeters. Okay. Now you see four channels equidistant with dimensions radius 8 or distance of 16 and placed on a circle with the diameter 160. Face circle polyline starting from here MMM ending here and connected with that uh, line. You see this is horizontal, this is not vertical. We apply a line and now it is vertical. We project this circle and we make tangent this line with this circle. A radius of uh, 8 here and coincident this point with this axis and the distance here is 160 divided by 2. Close pocket all the way through the part. Okay. Now we select this pocket and we apply circular pattern. Not two instances but four. Next is this cylinder with diameter of uh, 104 and the height of 39 from the bottom. You see here the thickness of 11. This face, new sketch, circle with diameter of uh, 104. Close, extrude or pad, not 10 but 39 minus 11. Okay, there are four equidistant fillets with hole. 
you see dimensions radius 14 and a circle of uh, 130 this face new sketch view section and we draw a polyline starting from uh, this point to here here mmm and back to this uh, line by using double m mm and we connect this now we make parallel these two lines we apply here tangent perpendicular these two and uh, we apply symmetry between this point this point and this point not an axis but a point this angle is 45 this radius is 14 and this distance is uh, half of 130 130 divided by 2 very nice what is the distance 39 minus 11 close extrude or pad 35 minus 11 okay this is 35 minus 11 that uh, feature has a hole here the hole is 12 equidistant around this uh, center now let me show something interesting i select this face and i apply a hole you see this uh, arc is considered with its center and we apply the diameter of 12 and through the part now we multiply the feature and the hole together four times around this part we have to select not only the hole but also the pad i select this i keep press the control key and i also select this now we apply polar pattern how many four you see that four okay now we focus on this revolving volume diameter of 85 is this and diameter of 84 is the other then 25.5 30 diameter of 50 30 degrees and 3 is here 23 the last dimension we can use any vertical plane for instance this one then so see inside we project uh, this upper line and polyline starting from here to this line 
then we go somewhere here down left sloped down right up here down and back to the center we don't see a vertical here so we select vertical and we place that uh, orientation this is three and the angle is 30 then diameter of uh, 50 divided by 2 because we use a radius okay this is uh, 85 divided by 2 the other one is 84 divided by 2 this is uh, 72 divided by 2 and now vertical dimensions this is 30 this is 25.5 and the last one is this this is 23 23 now we have a fully constrained sketch you see the contour yes this all around close groove the vertical axis is by default and we have the result there okay we finish by creating these two rectangular cuts through all the part you see this going here and this also going through dimensions are 6 on 16 this rectangle placed at a distance of 12 from the bottom the other is symmetrical and 14 is the distance between the two cuts or the two rectangles new sketch on this plane yz not this and see inside enlarge this and two rectangles one two dimensions 60 and 6 60 and 6 then 12 is this we apply symmetry between uh, this point and this point with this axis then equal this with uh, uh, this and also this with this the distance 
between the two rectangles is 14. Fully constrained sketch, close. You see that two rectangles inside. We apply pocket symmetrical all the way through the part. See? Okay. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.